Good Saturday afternoon and welcome to Let's Talk About This Book. <laughs> so I have uh, Maisha, Kamisha, Chantel, Devin, and Malika here who took the plunge with me to talk about, to read um, Dear Love, This Shit Hurts. Um, the title caught my attention, first of all, um, and it just drew me in. So I wanted to read it. And once I read it, I was just like, okay, wait a minute. It's a whole lot going on, um, here. There's a whole lot going on. So I decided to see if anybody wanted to take the plunge with me and, um, read it. And these young ladies said they would. So, hey, Maisha. That's our other Maisha. Hello, hello. So, um, first of all, let me do my disclaimer because I already told the ladies I was going to do a disclaimer. In no way, just so you have a quick idea, this book is about um, love, deceit, mistrust. Um, I want almost want to say generational curses to a degree. Mm. Yeah. Um, it's just a lot. It's a lot going on. In a, in a in a fairly short book, so um, <clears throat> I am in no way condoning cheating, but sometimes I believe that some things open a door to cause a catalyst for other things to happen. So if I say some stuff and you be like, "Oh, just think it's okay to cheat," no, I don't, but I do believe that, like I said, there are some reasons behind some <laughs> some things. So um, um, I'm gonna go ahead and let everybody kind of I said their names, let them kind of introduce themselves and just kind of tell me. A, just real quick, what you thought. If you liked it, you didn't like it, you thought it was crazy, however you want to, however you want to say it. Um, we're going to start with our this Maisha here. Hi, everybody. So um, I'm Maisha. I am a mother of three, single mother of three. Um, and reading is my complete outlet. And so this book took me through a lot of changes, and I really had to discuss it so that I wouldn't be on the bias end. You know, um, like y'all said, it's a lot of betrayal, love, lust, um, family drama, and it, ju it just took me through it. I needed, I'm glad I'm here to discuss it. <laughs> yeah. Kamisha? <laughs> Hello, I'm Kamisha. Um, let's see. I'm a male carrier, you know, it worked. The book was, it did, it, it was, it was different. I just, you know, it was, yeah, they did a lot. And I just read it like 20 minutes ago, so it was real fresh in my mind. And to me, they was, they, they were doing a lot. It was too, it was, yeah. And I'm gonna watch the words, and I'm gonna gather my thoughts, and I'm gonna have some things to say, because, listen. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So that's all I have for right now. Go ahead, Max. Yes, Maisha Parrish. It is drama, definitely. Yeah, they, drama. they were doing a lot. Drama. Um, Malika. <laughs> you on mute, Malika? We can't hear you. Hear me now? Yeah, <laughs> we hear you now. <laughs> I'm just talking. Okay, so I'm Malika, and I think when I read this, I went into like professional mode because I'm a psychologist. So I went into the background of how do people become who they are in the present, and there mm -hmm. were so many layers with these families. I was just like, why do we have these issues in the black community? So that was one of the things that I looked at. Um, but it was a lot of drama. And I don't come from that background. So for me, I live through these books. Like, this is how I get my entertainment. And I experience other people's uh -huh. upbringings and their, their right. life. But I was just like, this is a lot. And I felt myself condoning, not condoning. I felt myself sympathizing with certain characters 
because yeah. of how they got to where they got to. And then mm-hmm. I read the the, the uh, comments or the reviews after I finished the book and wrote my review. And I was just like, they are just going in on this character. But right. I sympathize with the character. Right. right. So right. Right. I definitely need to talk to someone about this book because you guys read it. So I discussed with someone mm-hmm. who read it. It was a lot. <laughs> Y'all, can y'all believe Miss Devin is here? I'm not gonna go for her today, but um <laughs> please don't. <laughs> y'all, can y'all see the in my house? Hey Kima. So go ahead, Miss Devin. Um I just I don't know. I just never read anything that was uh like this storyline. So it definitely took me for a loop. Um not saying that I didn't enjoy it, but I was just like the drama. <laughs> the right, drama. right, <laughs> right. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's the, how I feel about it. Okay, and Chantel. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chantel. Um, I agree with you, Ben. I thought it was a little messy, and Maisha and I kind of talked about it a little bit because I we tend to drag each other down the rabbit holes of books that we read because we're friends. So. I talked a little bit about with her, and I'm curious what you guys think, but messy is my word for it. Messy and drama. <laughs> oh my gosh, Kima said, I hated them all except Jordan. Yes. Really? really Kima. Yes. I'm with Kima. <clears throat> yes. I, I can feel it. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I feel like hate is such a strong word. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay maybe I like the actions of. Like, I hated the mama though. I now. Yes. I yes. 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 I hate yes. her. Yes. Definitely. No, she was a terrible human being. Sorry. Right. Yes. So we yes. got <laughs> we got Cortez and Phoenix, who have been together since high school, and the backstory is. I'm sorry if you haven't read it, but this is just the backstory. He has cheated on her forever. Forever. Mm-hmm. Forever to where it was like, oh, well, okay. He cheated on her and he felt he was justified. You know, I'm getting, I'm so my wife. I'm going to do my thing before, I'm, but I'm always going to marry you. That, that whole, that's what got me. But I'm always, you're always going to be number one and I'm always going to fall back and marry you. You're the one who I'm going to marry. So what that I'm out here with these other chicks? This is, we're young. I could do this. Mm-hmm. And his mindset of, Okay, so now that I got myself together, I'm not out in the streets doing this no more. So you should be good. Forget all the hurt that you put me through prior mm-hmm. to, and then the feeling that she could not leave him because then they had kids together, and her mama just drove me crazy. Mm. Mm. I ain't like her mama Mm-mm. from from from. Them being in the room getting ready for this wedding. Yes. Yes. I'm probably going to marry her. (laughs) What you think, Kamisha? Come on. Of course you're going to go through with it. Like, really? Gather my thoughts and make sure this is what I want to do. Yeah, her mama was was doing way too much. She was way too much. Her mama was doing too much. Jordan was doing too much. In the beginning, everybody was, you're going to marry him, you're going to marry him. Now, this is where I knew it was going to get crazy. When the knock at the door, mm. yes. and he yes. at the door, and he comes in, and he's like, "Don't do it." And that's when I was like, Skirt. "Okay, wait a minute, wait." <laughs> right. <laughs> so, was anybody else? How did y'all feel about the beginning? You know, it was gonna be drama when he came in the room and hit her with mm-hmm. the don't marry him. You right. know, from that moment on, this book was going to go. Whoop, it was. I feel like that set the tone. That set the tone, though. That lets you know what type of book this is going to be. Because, like, up front, when you in the prologue with drama, like, immediately, and you know there (laughs) has to be a backstory, there has to be. (laughs) So I'm like, oh, we're just going to start off with the drama. You're not going to ease us into it. You're not going to let us get to know the characters. Like, your introduction to the characters was drama. It was mess. On top of mess, on top of mess. Right. For me, it was her thoughts. We see it from her perspective. And she was even thinking that she didn't want to get married. Right. Before she even right. got it out to her, no good mama. I don't want to <laughs> marry him. Of course you're going to marry him. What are you talking about? Like, how are you going to gaslight me when I'm telling you I'm in my dress and I don't want to do this? Right. 
Right. Because her mom had gaslit her her whole life, though, because she had said before she didn't think marriage was for her. Mm-hmm. And her mom was like, of course, getting married and having kids in this life is for you. That's what you're you not do. Gonna be, you're not going to be this single mother. Right. Despite she's living her life through Phoenix, though. I feel like the mother yes. was all about the the image and what people yes. thought. Yes. And yes. then to come, come to find out the trash that she had going on in her own right. house. Right. I'm like, who are you okay. to be telling somebody they need to get married? Like, right. work on your own stuff. And then the fact that when it comes out later that, like you said, this was conditioned into her and her sister Sasha's mm-hmm. head. Because yeah. they had, yeah. what did they say, three kids under seven? Yeah. So three kids under five and seven years or something like that. And mm-hmm. she even admitted later on that her husband had cheated on her mm-hmm. and she stayed. Yeah. And it's like, oh, so y'all just out here just living facades, which yeah. is going to fall apart eventually anyway. Mm-hmm. House of cards. Just right. A bunch mm-hmm. of house of cards. Right. So I do agree with everybody that Jordan was the one who her got hurt the most out of right. everything. Um, right. Despite her issues and despite being able to go to finally go and get um, counseling, that is such the image of herself. That was that I go that was hurting my heart. Like he's yeah. even though he was cheating, he was. I felt like he loved her. Cortez did love her in his <laughs> own way. He, she was he, not his first love. Right. She was his consolation prize, I felt like. Right. right. Because right. He could, really cared you about can't her. love the one you want, so you love the one you with. Yeah. Right. So did you think he was just trash? Did you think Cortez was just trash? Or um, does he get a pass? I can't. Are we talking about, are we talking about chance or are we talking about Cortez? <laughs> no, right. no chance. also chance. No, Devin said hell. So wait, I'm sorry, chance. There's chance you know Cortez is trash. That's right. Yes, oh, yeah. Yeah, he's trash. I don't think he's trash. I don't. Because I think he really wanted to do the right thing, which is kind of is ironic considering his, his line of work. But I do feel like he was trying to do the right thing. <laughs> I know when you do illegal stuff, but you're a good guy. Like right. that was yeah. <laughs> and you was trying to step, you know, you was trying to step out of that. Yeah. You do it legally, you know. I mean, go the legal route, you know, of it. But I felt like go the, ahead, whole, the whole I'm in love with my brother's wife, but I'm gonna strike up a relationship with her best friend. That's what made him trash. Because no, he used her, how- and then all of a sudden you fall in love after you've used her, but you really still love him. So you're still just using Jordan. Jordan and Chance were never really supposed to be together to me. That was just some mm-hmm. um, you know. I don't see it that way. You know I see it. They consoled each other, and you know what happens when you spend a lot of time with people. Feelings can develop, and I think that I don't think he sought her out to be with her, but she was consoling him because she saw he was having a hard time at that wedding, and I think that that's how it developed. I don't think he went out intentionally to be shady. I don't think that's how it started. Right. I think if it you, was one of those organic things that just happened. Right. If you remember. Jordan was already commenting on how fine Chance was. Right. Mm-hmm. When mm-hmm. they were preparing for the wedding. Jordan so really liked him. I her eye on him. He yeah. had no clue of the relationship with Phoenix. So Phoenix should have stepped in and said, I don't think that's a good idea. That's her so best why? friend. Yeah. I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, she should have told Chance that is what you're saying. He should, she, Phoenix should have told Jordan, I don't think that's a good idea. That's not the avenue you want to pursue. Mm. But then I would have <laughs> asked why. Like if I'm right. Jordan, why? But that's your best right. friend. So I don't understand. Why wouldn't she? If that's your best friend, y'all right. know my best friend, Mo out. If something has happened in my life, she knows I'm going to tell her because she's my best friend. I trust her with all of my secrets, everything. I know but I all of her. Or I think well, I didn't know that they were sleeping, sleeping together, though. She didn't know anything about that. But that's what I'm saying. Phoenix should have put Jordan on game so Jordan wouldn't have been set up to be hurt. And Phoenix didn't. Phoenix set Jordan up to be hurt. That's how I, I feel. Agree. Because she should have told her friend, hey, don't, don't go there because I've been there. You don't have to go into details. Just give her the basics. 
Nah, best <laughs> friends, you don't want the basic. You don't, I'm gonna want yeah. all the details. Like, you don't want the details, but I'm saying I mean, they all seem like they would have just judged her. She, I feel like she just felt like she was gonna get judged no matter who she told. She, yeah. she now that's yeah. keeping something to your chest. Right. Nobody knew she was cheating at all. Not her and sister. Keep that, keep that, keep that yeah. to yourself. That is the epitome of keeping it to myself because, like, like uh, Malika said, the image that their family had. Mm -hmm. Yes, true. Was you know That's you true. don't do no dirt. So whatever dirt mm -hmm. you do do, it stays behind closed doors. And the more mm -hmm. people, but then you wear the baby. Come on. But you're the the But I think she. I think she didn't real, legitimately. I think she. Was confused she thought it was Cortez as to who the father was. I think she was confused and she was afraid to get confirmation. So she now, came out. She tried to sleep with that man and her husband's house. <laughs> that was that oh, was yes. trash. <laughs> yes. she, she was she was trash for that. That was, was trash. Was on top of that, that. Was like, no that was trash. That was and trash. you did it unprotected. Like you slept in the in your <laughs> marital bed and you did it unprotected. Like come on. Right, she did some very dumb things. Yes. Very did some dumb things. Yes, and that's why it was so easy to make her the villain because she was right. she was doing so much dumb stuff that it was easy for the author to try to make you see Phoenix as the villain. I don't really think she was, but I feel like yeah. through most of the book, the author tried to villainize Phoenix and get everybody was else. Immature. Past. She was a mother, yes, but she was still very yeah. immature yeah. because her development was stunted by her mother. Mm -hmm. Controlling yes, the yes. So we're expecting this grown woman who's a business owner, who's a mother of two, who's a wife, to do those types of mature things. And she was she didn't really grow up till she the secret finally exploded at the end, is when she finally grew up. <clears throat> and she had no choice but to do it at that point because her life was just destroyed and shambled. Mm -hmm. Nobody wanted her. She didn't have her kids but the baby. And she was just like, well, I need to work on myself. It took all of that for her to get better. So what do y'all think about the dad? <laughs> the dad? <laughs> that was that was if, you knew, if you Ooh. had that, the you new question, um, Chance going in that in the bridal suite beforehand, how you go all this time? And not say a dog. Oh, you talking about Cortez and Chance's dad? Yes, that was my oh, favorite. Man. But I no, like that, was a little, that was a little dirty. I'm gonna just say this as a parent. As a parent, if I know something that can cause strife between my kids, that's really, really serious. I'm gonna approach that a little bit more delicately. It was like he was gossiping with his homeboy, and be like, "Yeah, hey, cool. and he's at the ballpark on top of that." Right, right. Like, the he said it was like you have a curtain is your son too. The way have you looked at that baby? Right, right. <laughs> like, like he was by a stranger, like like it's not right. his son. <laughs> I didn't hear what you were saying, my in the beginning. That was my favorite part. Oh, the dad. <laughs> that was my favorite part because daddy was not playing. Okay, he their said, parents were crazy. I, it was basically like a I know what you did last summer type of thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not and saying he, he, was, but the dad, he and said he had mentioned the Cortez before, like you've done all your stuff, you don't ever exactly. need the Phoenix stepped out. Right. And Cortez was like, No. Oh, okay. okay. But most, right. cheaters, OJ. most cheaters say that. Most cheating guys say that. They, they never do. think that their woman will step out on them. Mm -hmm. It's almost like they dare them to, right? It's in the playbook. It's like they have a whole playbook <laughs> with stuff yep. to say. And that's usually in there. She'd never do that to me. Mm -hmm. Devin, you got this look on your face. <laughs> no, I was just saying that the dad peeped game from the beginning that he felt yes, like he did. Especially when they started mentioning the birthmark and the dimples was identical. Mm -hmm. It was just like he knew, but the dad was trash anyway. So he Yeah. <laughs> he was like, like, they were crazy. Him and the mama part. were crazy. That right. That's dysfunction to know. They were so dysfunctional. Like, <laughs> like, how did y'all even get together in the first place? Like, really? I felt like the lack of compassion that the dad had for the situation, like the severity of the situation. Mm -hmm. He could have had a, a conversation with Chance before he took it to Cortez and be right. like, look, mm -hmm. you need to talk to your brother about what this is because this is not cool. He didn't do that. It's like he threw the bomb and ran. Like, it's yeah. about to explode. 
I don't have nothing to do with that. That's the part I didn't like. I'm not saying that it shouldn't have came out and that he shouldn't have let him know, but I feel like he should have handled that a little bit more delicately than the way he did. Like you out at the ballpark, dog. <laughs> you just got I, think, I think he realized his mistake because there was an instance where Chance was talking to her or something, right? And the dad was like, you need to clean this up. Mm -hmm. Am I right about that? Or am I thinking of another book? <laughs> No, I don't remember. I don't know if it was that compassionate. I just feel like he was right. just like stupid. I feel like he was like, dog, how stupid are you? Like, that's the way yeah. it came across to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kima says she don't like Phoenix, but I felt, but I don't feel bad for Cortez at all. I, I can't say I didn't like Phoenix. I liked Phoenix. I did. I, I, I wouldn't go there for she can't be my friend. Yeah, you can't hang out because you ain't sleeping with my man, but yeah, <laughs> no, I do like her. I, I can't say that I liked her. And I think her choices, even after the everything blew up in her face, when she went to Chance's homeboy tie and thought she was gonna make Chance jealous, your husband exactly. took your kids. And left you, and this is the avenue that you choose to take. Like he left you with your, took your kids, and you worrying about mm -hmm. making Chance upset or jealous because because his own boy. That, that shows That's you right there. She did, that shows you right there. She didn't. Cortez was where her heart was. Chance no. Was. He she took her kids, kids. but Even she said she stopped, was love, she stopped Even, loving him a long time ago. Right, she said that. I right. understand that, but he took her kids. It's, I'm talking about the kids. And I, I, think, I, I, I think I got what you're I saying. As a mom, the pri her priorities is right. out of whack. But I told you she was young, acting still, mid twenties. Right. She was yes. still doing immature stuff. And she then she right. I feel like I feel like she should have went and got the um the paternity done to determine well, her if own. this was really his right. kid before exactly. it, before he did it. Now you right. you already mad. Because he got his other his other friend over here that's in the in the wings waiting for you to drop mm -hmm. the ball. Yep. And so it was like you gave her a reason to run off with your man. Not that she I don't think she cared anyway that she oh, no, not not exactly. anyway. Because she, she in her mind, Cortez is trapped. Yeah, Bye. in her mind. In her yep. mind, y'all been doing something. Y'all just been fronting like mm -hmm. you haven't been. Right. And right. I don't care what you say. She, it, to her, I don't care what you say. Y'all can front like it just happened. Yeah, no, y'all been. Right. I've been looking at you sideways for as long as I can remember. Of course, right. you know, her. so what did you think about? Um, you know, I hate the Jordan got killed. I'm like, y'all always got to kill somebody. Why you always got to kill somebody with a truck? God, <laughs> dog. And um, my thing was, I saw it coming when she left. I said, somebody about to die. I said, yeah, oh, right. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was obvious. What did you think of Phoenix not going to the funeral? She was trash. She was trash. <laughs> Listen, that is my best friend wait, 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 in high school. And wait, I wait, asked her wrong. Jordan didn't wait. do anything to her. She did Jordan wrong. And then you can't mm. even show your, like, you're hiding. She I felt like that was going to be a catch too. Let me just say that. She she was was that was going to be a catch 22 on, if she had gone. I yeah. felt like they was gonna shun her. I felt like she was damned if she did, she yes. damned if she did. Exactly. That's how I felt. I agree. I agree. Yeah. I agree. She could have. She could have. That this leads back to Malika saying she wasn't mature enough. A grown woman, a grown, a, like you know, somebody. I'm, I'm, I'm knocking on fifty three in less than thirty days. Yeah. Would have sucked it up, even if I would have sat in the back. Because that right. was my yeah. best friend. Right. But when you think about how Malika shot, shot her mentality, her age. Two, she still wasn't grown. These people are under 30. She was definitely under 30. She yeah. wasn't even, I think they were. She was 17 when she had the yeah. twins. I think and they were mid 20. Three years, huh? I think they were like 22, 23, somewhere around in there. I thought nine. they were a little older than that. The twins were like nine. I thought, they were, I thought they were eight or nine. So I think that they were like late. Late twenties, right? Okay, yeah, okay. But I here's just feel a like she was damned if she did, damned if she didn't. Either way, it if went. She goes to the service, though, 
she could cause drama that's hurtful for the family, for Jordan's family, because yeah, they Jordan. already they already know what happened. So it's like you show up and you're a visual representation of all of what caused your daughter, sister, whoever it was to die. Right. So, Miss would have whipped her ass. And her mother was, was already <laughs> on point. Like, who ain't the one? So I right. kind of get her not going, but you could have went later to the grave site after everybody was gone just to be able to pay your respects. Like, there was ways for her to do it. But again, when you're immature, it's hard to sit in the results of your your the consequences of your actions and she was definitely going to sit in some stuff if she'd have gone to that service mm -hmm. i completely under i completely understand what you're saying the, my biggest problem is we want in one breath to say it wasn't all her fault but when that glass shattered she disappeared and everybody else around her had to pick up those pieces chance had to sit in the front row with jordan and his child and take those evil looks from the mother and still sit at his girl's funeral because they weren't even married. He still had to sit at that girl's funeral. And the best friend is- but I feel like Chance's and Phoenix's role is different though. Chance is a yes. partner. Chance He's is the partner. He's 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 the father of her child. We've been so best he, friends since, since- I get it. Jesus was a little boy. boy. <laughs> it's not the same though. But my man and my, my girl, and I, like, you know, my, my husband it's not and my the same. Not the same. Or my, yeah. That is true. That is true. My husband and my best friend are not the same, but Kima said, come on with the truth, Maisha. I just like <laughs> do not, not believe in letting people <laughs> off the hook. I just, I don't believe in letting people off the hook. You were mature enough to cheat on your husband with his brother and your best friend died as a result of that betrayal and you just go back in your cubby hole and hide. I but she wasn't problem. let off the hook. I feel, like, I feel like she was ostracized the most, and the blame was put on her the most out of all of them. Like Cortez got right. yeah. his like he like he wasn't pressed the rest of the book. Like he wasn't, he wasn't. His actions were the catalyst for her reaction. I agree with that statement. She Cortez still said in her stuff. You're using right. one example, like one scenario, but right. I feel like days and months after that, she was definitely not off the hook because her right. life imploded. Mm -hmm. Right. Her, her husband's gone. He's with his best friend. He's left and living in the house that he purchased for her. She's trying to figure out how to put her life back together. And the man that she truly loves doesn't want to have anything to do with her. Right. Like he literally won't even see her to exchange their kid. Like that's how right. bad it was. She's right. back in her stuff for sure. She sat in it <laughs> like real that, good. Now that blew me. Not that not that I expected him to just be like, because that would just have been tacky. We yeah, know where we left off, that would have just been really raunchy. Yeah, but the fact that like you're so angry with her when y'all both was in that car mm -hmm. when her phone, you know, when it called, yeah, like, everybody heard the both of you, right? It wasn't just her saying I love you and did da this and did that, and I want to be it wasn't just her, it was both of y'all, and the fact that he just completely like you said, wouldn't even exchange the, the child mm -hmm. with her. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Like that's true. That's oh, true. That's not, I think that those those actions is what was pissing me off. How everybody was coming at her. Like I said, I'm not condoning the cheating. Right. Um, Phoenix definitely did some dumb stuff. Yeah, I agree. And but, I feel like what was the best? What's Cortez's best friend's name? The one that became the wife, Gabby. Like Gabby. Gabby. She tried to make him into a victim. I said, no, yes. he is not a victim. Yeah, yes. yes. very true. Not at all. She tried yes. to make him look like the bad person, like she was trash. But you with the trash individual that started this whole ball yes. rolling. Yes. So yes. if you can forgive his actions and knowing how he was and still want to partner with this dude, then I'm going to need you to give her a pass. Yeah, yes. she yes. Yes. The, comment, the comment that she made about, um, how did she say it? Um, it's not your fault that you right. were sure and she didn't. That's not your mm -hmm. fault. And I'm just like, are you serious right now? Right. Right. That that right. I didn't I didn't that made me really look at um Gabby in a different light. At first I was like, okay, yeah, because I, I've had male best friends. So I could I get it. But that made me look at her in a totally different light. Like you really have been waiting and when you ain't 
the shackles didn't just fall off and you looking at him different all of a sudden now. That's true. Now all of a sudden you're going to treat her so special for her birthday and to do this. I mean, for the mom's birthday. And, oh, this present is from the both of us. Get no. She's my best friend, but she's beautiful, and I can't help but look. So everybody knew that he wasn't shooting shot, but he wasn't selling drugs and didn't have enough money. And that's basically what he said. But that's what he said. Yeah, and she was she was was Let's go house shopping for my wife, and now I see you as a real man. Get out of here. And you let her pick out your wife's house? Yeah, that was crazy. Right. If she approves, yeah. I'll buy it. But you know your wife don't like her. So what you going to tell your right. wife? My best friend yeah. doesn't like her doing our house. So then I bought it. So oh, she was only after money. money from guys anyway. And she said that from jump. <laughs> only thing a man can do for me is finance, basically, right. my lifestyle. So you knew she was a trash individual to begin with. And then all of a sudden, Cortez is a worthy candidate once she sees what he's working with. Like, right. that was shady, too. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. They deserve now, each other. Yes. Now Ty. Ty was just dumb all around. <laughs> because if you if you if you working for uh, if you work now, I don't read enough. Now I don't know nothing about this life, but I don't read you enough. Better, you better say that, Joss. Huh? You you better say that. Say that. I don't about this life. I don't know nothing about that life. I'm a suburban kid <laughs> from California, right. Georgia. I don't know nothing about that life. Trust right. me. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you kill your partner and take boss man's money don't laugh at me Kima. you take boss man's money and leave who does, who comes back to the city who that's what I'm saying yeah. what the rules say you better stay gone because when you come yeah. back when you come back they waiting on you you got like you you lucky they didn't go to let's see. So if this was based in Pittsburgh and he said he went to DC or Baltimore, somewhere wherever he went. Right. Don't come here. Mm -hmm. First of all, you didn't go far enough. You didn't go far, you didn't go far enough. <laughs> His money wasn't long enough. He didn't steal enough. Not enough money. <laughs> and then you come back. He thought he was it was sweet. He was like, "All oh, they ain't came looking for me. I'm good." And then you show up to an event that he's right. at, yeah. <laughs> like y'all homies. <laughs> like what? 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 You do come get away with it? Yeah, I'm not sure who this is because I can't. We can't see your name, but I thought he was dumb as beep. and why yeah. finish this up with him. Oh, this book that, was cool. That's what I thought. I was like, <laughs> why did this? Waste this good watch on this F boy. <laughs> you better say that, Devin. Uh, I'm like, girl, what was you thinking? She didn't like him though. She was, he was a means to an end. It just backfired in her face. <laughs> and it did because everybody was hot with her. Like they didn't know. She honestly did not know. She really didn't know. And I, and I felt bad for her. I was like, "You just played it. You just played yourself." That was the only time I really felt bad for her. When they said she was getting with him, I said, "Oh, poor Phoenix." He exactly <laughs> lit her up at that event. Okay, his I I didn't think Mama had it in her, but she lit into Phoenix. Like after he did this to my son, and you show up, I would have been hot tailing it out of there at my own child's event. <laughs> This is true. This is she true. was embarrassed. She was. And she but, didn't like Kima. Kima. Kima does she not like her. her. Oh, comes that she was selfish. I I I don't see her. I can't say I'm not gonna say she wasn't selfish, but God dog, Kima. But she wasn't the only selfish person. Kima, that's, that's the problem like I have. Yeah. I think that's yeah. I I that's that's where. It's a I think that's that where my whole thing came from with this whole book. Like everything was thrown on Phoenix's shoulders, despite right. some of the dumb stuff she did. But everything was thrown on her yeah. shoulders. Like, like she just, like she went after him. She right. did it all by herself. Like between Cortez and her mama, this girl didn't stand a chance. And then her sister being older, following in the steps that her that the the this. 
Yeah, this wasn't a more yeah. understanding person, though. A sister wasn't as, as bad as her mom. No, she wasn't. The sister actually was an ally for her and a, a very yeah. good voice of reason. Had she shared with her what was happening with her earlier on, mm -hmm. she probably wouldn't have actually gone down that path. She would have done what would have made her happy because she would have known that her sister's life was what was looking light on the outside. And then to find out about her parents. But what what she really said, though, yeah. Remember when she said in the beginning, the reason she stopped sharing with her mom and her sisters and every time she told them Cortez uh, cheated, they told her to go back. Yeah. That's why she they stopped did. sharing and started telling her. So yeah, would did. her sister really have told her not to go through with it? I feel like the sister had an opportunity to help her sister not go down the same path she went. Like, right. let me tell you about the pitfalls of like, I feel like as an older sister, cause I'm an older sister, like that's your job if you can to not mm -hmm. see your younger siblings go down the same path right. that you went down, if you can help it. And she could have shared some stuff. Now it's still Phoenix's decision to make, but she could have still right. shared some stuff with her to be more informed in the decisions that she was making. But she really thought everybody's life was perfect. And she didn't want to be the one that had the, the right. blemished relationship. Right. Right. So did you guys like, I ain't gonna lie, I liked Cortez and Chance's mama. She cracked me up. When she said, y'all brothers, we ain't doing this. If you gotta go outside and kick each other's ass and that's what you gotta go do. But fix this <laughs> right now. We don't- That's what the mama it. does though. That's what it a mother's made me think, do. It made me think of my of my grandmother. I'm not, now my family ain't had no drama like this, but my grandmother, <laughs> my mother has always said, then my grandmother, because it's four of them, it was four of them. You look out for your brother and your sister. You don't let nobody come in between you. You always look out for your brother and your and your sister. Because um, mm -hmm. we did have a little family situation where um, my aunt's kids was acting funny and my mother had to tell them, I was her sister before she was your mother. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm not going nowhere. Regardless yep. of how you feel, my mm -hmm. mother has instilled in me to always take care of my sister and my brothers, and that's what I'm going to do. So I thought about that when the mother was like, nah, um, yeah, that's a real mama, Kima. I agree. That's real. Yeah, I, I couldn't be mad at her. Yeah, we in this drama. You know, we could do about it. We got these babies. These are my, all my grandbabies. Right. So fix it. But that's what I wanted the dad to do. That was my point. You're not really being a parent, a, a father, the way you need to, because you're stirring up confusion when there was a different way he could have handled that. Like the mom was like, okay, it's out. It sucks. But what y'all not going to do is y'all not going to be at odds. You better work it out because that's what he, the father should have been doing. Instead, I think because of his issues, relationship issues, and how him and the mom would go at it and how dysfunctional they were. I feel like that might be why they weren't together. Like I'm all looking at it. I'm like, that's probably why they ain't together. Because I was learning a little bit more of their backstory. Yes, because he was a trash mm -hmm. individual. I feel like he was mm -hmm. a trash partner. That's where Cortez got <laughs> it from. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. he was trash. Mm -hmm. What about the kids? Because think about this now. Your sister is your cousin. Yeah. Just a daddy. <laughs> We have children involved in foolishness. Like we, we're doing all of this and going on all our adult lives. Like, hey, these kids don't grow up and just be fine. No, take these children into consideration. That's confusing. They, they were doing too much. Yeah, that's definitely confusing. I, I get it. Yeah. A lot. It's confusing. A whole lot. So when they finally ended up, I might be jumping. Uh, when they finally end up together, I started laughing to myself. Like, like you were saying, the kids was a hot mess. Family gatherings have got to be crazy as. Yes. 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 You imagine yes. Thanksgiving and Christmas. So now Cortez is with Gabby and she's there. Chance and Phoenix are together. All these kids, like, I wouldn't even go. I'd be like, I'm going to set this <laughs> out. I'm not going. I honestly did not like to give everybody happy ever after was an issue for me. Everybody should not have gotten what they wanted. It, 
that except for the mama, which I'm very happy that she didn't get what she wanted. But everybody else didn't know. Oh, I got to talk about the mama. That that threw me. I'm like, did you really just end this with like, hey, it's not even no. Yes. Like that. I feel like they got what they wanted, but to get to that point, some people probably would have gave up and just like, I'm not trying to go through all of this. Like they had to go through hell to get to what mm -hmm. they wanted. So I don't know if that's the path you want to choose to get what you want. <laughs> like, no, you ain't worth it, Chad. I'm good. Not, not at all. I I hate that the dad had to that all of this had to pop off before Phoenix dad like right. opened his eyes or mm -hmm. saw his mouth what was going on mm -hmm. his mouth like that's right. what it was he didn't speak up right like he just gonna go to work and take care of it, and not say nothing like she's going through hell and then you want to say I ain't been happy with you in a minute right I don't even <laughs> like you he told her I don't even <laughs> like you that would have been helpful information for Phoenix at the wedding. Right. right. <laughs> I don't even like you. And he knew Phoenix didn't want to get married. He admitted he, he didn't want to get married. He did. And he still let it go. They didn't agree with Chance and Phoenix coming together at the end. Why? Nobody Me either. Did. Nobody well, agreed. Nobody. Well, no. Well, Excuse you, me with my church, church finger. No, I was not happy at all. Okay, so Cortez and Gabby can be together. And they can go skip happily ever after into the sunset. But they deserve they, each other. But but they get to be the happy. The difference is that Gabby is not Phoenix sister. Gabby is just some, you know, supposedly best friend or whatever. And but I'm she saying, Cortez started this. Right, but Gabby but has caused all of this drama. Phoenix and Chad caused all of that drama. And then they go slide out into the No, 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 I don't agree that Phoenix. I don't agree that Phoenix and and Chance created all of this drama. I don't. Believe I agree. Cortez, Cortez. Okay, Cortez, Cortez, Cortez yes. the drama, right? But besides the the slot, the this he's my best friend, but I got feelings situation. She going in, get in their marriage in a way that made it. Man, they get as her herself as a as the other woman. She was his friend until she wasn't his friend. So I don't have an issue with Gabby and Cortez being together. I mean, Cortez is wrong to be wrong. He's a dog, but I called it trash. He's a trash man, but I don't get it. I don't have an issue with Gabby getting together. My so issue is with all the people that Phoenix and Chance hurt. I just don't see that they should have been. At, I just don't think they should have been able to get together. That's just me. I mean, that's probably how they feel. But no, so we look at the them. amount of people that they hurt, and not looking <laughs> at the fact that Cortez put the chain. He started the ball rolling. If he had been faithful, she would have been loving him, and she would have been Cortez. That baby matters what her mom and sisters was doing with their lives. She made the decision. To marry that man, she made she a decision. Yeah, what choices she had you when she said, she said she I really do this. She was wrong. What do you mean? What choices she had? She she didn't have, she she brain, didn't have brain. her own self control of her life. Her life, was, she? her life was being lived for her, so she was following right. what her mother expected, what the world expected. Right. She was standing okay, she was but going but like, that, that doesn't seem because I feel like, hey, I'm grown. Now, I'm gonna do this this way. I'm gonna do this that way. She chose to go that way. I, she was she it. Life yeah. might have been a little bit. She was life might have been a little bit that. harder for her, but, but it was still a choice. She wait. chose what was the easier of the choices. I don't it was think easier. Was easier. Was easier. I don't think she chose what was easier. Stand around and move around. The you gotta easy remember. Would have been, don't marry him. That'd be. <laughs> you gotta yeah. remember yeah. two yeah. things. You gotta remember two things. Phoenix was railroaded into marrying him because her mother held stuff over her head. Mm -hmm. Like okay. this, this is what you're supposed to do. I didn't raise you to be like this. Mm -hmm. She railroaded her into getting married. So she felt like she didn't have a choice. Second, Gabby, I say Gabby and Cortez deserved each other because Gabby was a gold digger. Gabby wanted somebody to take care of her. So is he, he really was. getting the better end? Is Cortez 
really getting the better end because as long as he's providing for Gabby, she'll be there. When he stopped providing, Gabby ain't going to be there. She <laughs> the kids. Now she jumped in to raise somebody else's kids. Is that the, do we really believe Gabby is going to be able to raise no, somebody okay else's kids? I'm not saying they should be together. I'm just more okay with Gabby and Cortez being together than I am with Phoenix and Chance. That's and I'm not. Yeah. I'm okay. I'm okay with Chance and Phoenix being together because that's the way it should have been from the beginning. It would have been messy to yeah. not well, she she to be with the she said, remember when she said um she stopped talking to her sister and her mother about him, and Chance was the only one that would listen. That's how they got and together. started off as friends, right. and then one thing led to another. It wasn't, I don't feel as though they went out seeking each other. Correct. Right. They just didn't have enough common sense to stop it. And that's it how went. Jordan and Chance got together. Similar right. situation. Right. They're there for each other, spending time, they're confiding in one another. Right. And it leads to other stuff. So I don't feel like Phoenix is this villain. It's easy to hate her. It's real easy to hate her. It is. She broke the code. Like you slept with brothers, like and right, had kids right. by both of them. Right. Had Definitely. kids by both of them. <laughs> it's but, one thing to but, see kids by both of them. But did um did Chance seek her out though? Because he already knew that she was feeling some type of way, and Cortez no. was going out of town. You don't think he like kind of sought her out a little bit to to a little bit? I ain't saying no, a whole lot. You mean when they made the baby? The night that they slept together in, at the in house? The, in the time frame, because they were still messing with each other off and on up until when they made the baby. Was no, they that? weren't. No, they no, weren't. No. That was they, got they, got they, got got together. they weren't. They stayed away from each other. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, they were trying to do right. They, they were, were trying. trying. They, they was all loving the, loving the crew. It was just like... <laughs> 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 Keep the love of my phone. The, the, the sister cousin on the side. Right. When your uncle is your stepdad. Right. That's what I said. Right. <laughs> your sister is your cousin. It's, it was Ooh. so much going on. Everybody was wrong. Everybody. Everybody, everybody except for Jordan. was wrong except for Jordan. Jordan was the only innocent party in that world. The only book. innocent bystander dies. So that was real messed up too. After she sought um, therapy, I really wanted her to see. I wanted her to do better. Exactly. I didn't think, I did. I didn't I did. think she was going to get. She was going to die. I didn't think that. that well, was, right. Jordan, Jordan's issue was her entire self worth was wrapped up in chance. Uh -huh. So how she felt about herself, her value was because of how he saw her and the fact that he loved her. She didn't have it for herself, so mm -hmm. it was really fragile. Even though she was going through therapy. It was still very fragile. And that literally was a trigger that she couldn't overcome. Like to find out that he cheated on you. And I valued myself based on the fact that I figured you love me of your own free will. She right. couldn't handle it. So let me ask you guys this. So Cortez having Gabby with him to open up the DNA and then calling Jordan over. Like you didn't even confront... Um, Phoenix with this information first. You just went straight to from zero to a thousand and went straight to Jordan. Get over here. I want you to see this. I want to show you something. And to me, I thought that was messy as well. I mean, he had what everybody he to do it. Was. But it's like right. stupid stuff like that. Right. He went straight to victim mode. Look what she did. Right. To me. right. And, and Gabby, Gabby co-signed. Gabby co-signed. <laughs> He co-signed it. That's all he needed. I got my girl right here, my best friend. She's gonna be right, right here with me. <laughs> like you ain't even see Gabby was his real best friend. He told Gabby everything. Right. That was a mistake. That you was don't his care best friend. about what's happening in your marriage. I don't care how close you are, best friend, sibling. <laughs> There's some stuff you don't share. Because when you get over it. They don't. They still want right. on to that stuff. They gonna remember it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's me. That's me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me nothing, because mm -hmm. I'm going to hold it, and I'm going to look at this Negro crazy. Yep. Even when y'all make up, I'm going to be a looking life. at you sideways. I'm not, I'm, not gonna, I'm not ever going to like you. I'm not ever 
and I'm and it's not even just relationship wise. I could tell <laughs> a friend of mine's child was in my our school, and the other teacher, she she it was it was petty. His he was climbing on the stairwell and his shoe came off and went all the way back down to the first floor. And she was like, Well, you just gonna walk around um and have lunch with just your one shoe. I ain't like that teacher no more. And we in the same building, we colleagues. I looked at her crazy from even the, the you know, my friend got over and was like, Yeah, I'm you know, I'm fine with it. Every time I saw that woman, I was like, I don't like her. We but what the, that's me. I ain't great, just that's me too. I hold grudges. I ain't gonna lie. I can hold grudges for decades, <laughs> lifetime. Forever. Say Forever. You do my friends dirty. Family, especially, but my friends are like my family. So you do my friends and my family dirty, you're you're dead to me. Like, don't come talk to me. Mm -hmm. I got yeah, Cortez was toxic, but the poor toxic. Jordan was devastating. It was. And mm -hmm. you can't tell me you didn't know what was going on. That, that you couldn't tell me her state of mind. You knew. You the hope if you know everything else about the family, you knew her state of mind, and this was gonna mm -hmm. send her to me. I feel like he knew this was gonna send her over the edge. He didn't right? care. He wasn't thinking about it. He didn't care. He didn't mm -hmm. care. He only cared about himself. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I right. think that that's the clear thread you saw is he only really cared about himself. The stuff he did for Phoenix, the fact that he stopped cheating on her, it was all about him. It really wasn't about her. Right. He didn't stop cheating until she left him for four months. Let's, right. let's not forget that. Right. He didn't it's stop to propose until she was like, yeah. I can't deal with this anymore. I don't yeah. want to be with you for four months. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. So it wasn't yeah. like he had this epiphany. It was, oh, yeah. I don't want nobody else to have her type thing. Right. That's really what it was. He invested all this time. She got his kids. He don't want nobody right. else to be with her. Right. But you didn't value her when you had her. Like exactly. you literally right. had her to yourself. She only wanted to be with you and you didn't value her. Like, come on. At all. So I'm like, Malika, I found it interesting because I did go back through and was reading some of the reviews and how everybody, with a lot of them, there was one I was going to screenshot and I didn't do it. But in particular, Please. like, <laughs> she was so just rough on phoenix all the way around and i'm one that like i delve into books i don't just it's easy to just read them real fast and stuff but i'm always looking at the underlying tone of a lot of stuff that um okay well what caused this character to do this what caused what was the catalyst behind um behind this um my mind is always overthinking sometimes i be on point sometimes i don't <laughs> somebody i'll throw you for a loop but I just found it, it was just so interesting to me. Like I said in the beginning, all the blame was on her shoulders. Besides, and I don't take anything away from some of the dumb stuff that she, she did all the way around. But I just thought it was very interesting. And I would love to, I have no idea who this Arthur is. I've never, this is my first time um, reading a book by her. But I would love to know what her thought process was um, behind that. What, you know, what made her write it in that, in that tone? Yeah. I read her. I read some stuff in her catalog. Oh, you read some more stuff in her catalog? Yeah. After I read this, it made me oh. was like, let me see what she's talking about. So I went and read the rest of the stuff. <laughs> well, how did you like the other stuff? I did. I did. Because oh, okay. like authors have different things. And hers was like not hood, but it got a little edge to it. So you had characters that had mm -hmm. edge. And I like a variety of stuff. So I'm not always completely urban or hood with the stuff, but I do like a balance. And mm -hmm. so I was like, I did like her storytelling, like the way she tells the story. Um, a lot of her books are kind of short. So if you're used to 300 plus pages, you're not going to really get that from her. But I did like what she had. I like the nuance of this book. Like there's so much there that on the surface, if you just looked at the surface, you would come out with Phoenix being Right, the but the nuance <laughs> of it, you're reacting to her her symptoms of the the root cause, and no one was really looking at the root cause of why she was like that. And that's yeah. what I was looking at. Like her mother yeah. needs to be like slapped out someplace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Her her don't blame her for her messing up. Don't blame her sleeping with that brother. That's right. what her mama told me. Her mama told her that's what I thought. She didn't tell her to do that. 
be a terrible mama. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm just I'm terrible. Hey, Kima. Kima I'm says she is an equal opportunity hater. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, love, I can't disagree with that. <laughs> yes. Not at all. Not yeah. at all. I can't disagree with that. So any, I said I was going to keep y'all about an hour. Any final thoughts? Maisha, sure you have any final thoughts? My only final thought is I wish it would have I'm with you, Joss. I don't condone cheating. But I think it would have been digested better if it was not his brother. If she was cheating and it was not chance, nobody would have thought Phoenix was the enemy. No, that's true. Nobody that's would have true. thought she was the end all be all villain of this book. If it was anybody mm. other than, but why do we not look at chance the same way? Correct. You knew that was your brother's girlfriend. And no matter how much she came to you and confided in you, you knew that was your brother's girl. Right. You still right. pursued it. She came on you. You wouldn't, whatever. You were still wrong. So I'm with Kim. I'm an equal opportunity hater. Chance was equally as wrong. <laughs> it was all trash except for Jordan. And she didn't deserve to die. Excuse me. Right. Uh, right. Excuse me. Can but if said? Jordan had to live, oh. if Jordan had to live and Chance had to, cho had to make a choice, would it have been her? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. You don't I, think so? I feel like he would. I feel like he would have. I feel like Chance would have stuck it out with her. No. I think he loved her. I don't think he was in love with her. He would have still right. cheated. He would have been sleeping right. with Phoenix. I, I think. Right. I think if she lived and if it was all out and he had to make a choice, like if she was like choose, oh. I don't think it would have been her. Right. Yeah. That's true. I do believe that too. Yeah. Okay. So my final thoughts are first of all. When I first started the book, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, if I wasn't reading it for this group, I wouldn't have finished. That's the first and foremost. It did not move me to complete, but I said I was going to participate so I can read the book. Overall, I didn't like it. It was the messiness and the drama of it. It was it was too much because I, I couldn't really relate because I didn't understand her doing everything her mom. Like, hey. You go jump off this hill, I'm gonna jump. I didn't understand it. She was an adult, so I didn't, I couldn't relate at all. And the whole sleeping with your husband's brother thing, that was like a low budget folk happened to me. I couldn't get with it. So overall, I just didn't like it. I didn't, but you know, those are my final thoughts. No, and I, I, yeah, I didn't like it. <laughs> I love to say it. Malika. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's how you really feel, Kamisha. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, I did say I wanted some honest, your honest dialogue. I did say that, didn't I? <laughs> um, I agree that Phoenix really didn't stand a chance. And I think that was a thing that made me feel compassion for her, is that she didn't stand a chance. I like the book for the fact that it was something that I'm not, I'm like Josh, I'm a suburb kid. So it's like, I don't know anything about life like this, but I feel like this is not something that she just made up. Like there are people out there that do stuff like this and it's a real life thing. And I feel like they ex she exposed some stuff. She exposed the trauma that you can experience in your family that is not abuse, like sexual abuse or anything like that. There's other types of trauma that you can have within family. And I feel like Phoenix had that with dealing with her mother and the expectations that they had for her that didn't allow her to be who she really wanted to be. I I do feel like it was messy, which you can't not have it be messy, but I do feel like when Maisha talked about the fact we would be okay if it hadn't been the brother, if it hadn't have been Chance, I think that Chance owed his brother more than Phoenix did. Yes. And the fact that Chance is not the villain when that was your brother that you're sleeping with your brother's girlfriend, like this was before yes. they got married. Mm -hmm. So yes. he, that's, that's like a husband cheating on a wife and the wife going to the, the mistress. No, the husband owes you more because he took vows, the vows mm -hmm. with you. So I, I had a problem more with Chance because that was your brother. That's your blood. If you don't respect it, then you can't expect Phoenix to have more respect for that relationship than, than you do. So that's the reason why I'm not saying I'm Team Phoenix, but I understand. 
<laughs> Devin. I'm not team nobody. They all was yeah. trash. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm not I enjoyed the book um it was just a scandal and like uh a lot of y'all said I didn't grow up in that stuff now as I got to an adult and um in my line of work I do see a lot of claim another baby oh I'm gonna pin this on this uh this guy and then this guy's not the dad and then you got seven different people up here and nobody's the dad. So, <laughs> so I can tell some I can tell some stories about that. But that I just can't I just wanted them to be honest with everybody. I wanted it just to come out and I wanted um Miss Jordan to find some peace with it all. That's just how I felt about it. Yeah, I hate she died with a broken heart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Chantel, I think I agree with all you guys said. Like, um, <clears throat> I definitely don't agree that Phoenix is 100% the villain by herself. I think they all played a role, other than Jordan, they all played a role in the situation to get us to where we were. Um, I think that. Um, I had to for this book club, this discussion. I mean, I picked up the book. <laughs> um, <laughs> I may not pick it up. I, I may, I may read another one. I'll drag Mike down rabbit hole with me if I do. What do you want to ask for? We already know. What do you want to ask for? <laughs> we said we weren't doing this to each other, Chantel, anymore. Okay, so maybe maybe we won't read anymore. Okay, all right, that's fine. <laughs> Okay. Well, y'all know where I stand. Um, and let me just say this to to um, Kamisha's point. I'm not gonna say my mother. Um, I love my mom, and I don't need y'all side eyeing her if you you know she be at the <laughs> events and stuff. <laughs> but for the longest time, like I was way into my twenties before it was like I'm grown. I really don't have to do what you're saying. It's okay if you get mad at, at me. Like I was, I have to say, good 26, 27 before I was like, when I, when I had my child, you know, like, why well, nobody here? My mother, you would have thought I was 17. No, not, not, not knocking nobody who was 17, 18 had their baby. You would have thought at 26, <laughs> I was 17 when I got pregnant with my son. That is how my mother acted. My mother moved out of the condo that we was living in and gave it to me and went and rented someplace else because I just broke her heart that I wasn't married. And um, Malika, you from L.A., you know, I grew up under uh, at Crenshaw Christian Center under Fred Price. So, you know, I was working there. I was working there. So you already know how my situation is. Right. So, so I mean, yeah. if you don't know, if anybody doesn't know, but just, you know, so I broke true cold (laughs) when I got pregnant with my son and and being an only child I think that made a difference for for our situation but like I said it wasn't until I was like 26 27 it was like I don't it's okay if I don't agree with what you say it's okay for you to be upset with me if I don't follow your rules so maybe that's where I have I have a little compassion for Phoenix not that I can relate to, to cheating and um, with the brother and all of that, but I, I understood the mindset of being under the control of your parent and not wanting to disappoint them and everything you, you share with them, they come back with you. It's like, they don't, they don't, the advice is not, um, not necessarily what you want to hear because every advice you get, everything that you want for yourself is not what you're going to get when you want advice. I get that part, but like, are you hearing me? You're not hearing what I'm saying and what I'm going through. And I felt that's where, where Phoenix got what, what her parents weren't, you know, her daddy wasn't saying nothing. And her mama was just, this is what it is. This is what you're going to do. All right. We didn't let you, we didn't make you go to college because you just wasn't going to do that. But you're going to do this. You're going to marry this man. You know, had these kids. And this is what you're going to do. 
Right. And she just went along she, with it. So she didn't even go to college. You know, everybody else went to college. But she made the choice not to go. She also she had, make she, had, she, also had she also had she two had twins. Kids. She got pregnant with the twins at 17. Oh, and I'm she said yes, she was I, I put, my bad. I forgot about the step kid awful. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> we did. It's in my mind. It's in my mind just now. It's in my mind. Um, right. I love my right. mom and death, but I joined the army at 18 and got away from her real fast. So, yeah, I didn't. I yeah. didn't go up like that. I, you know, I, I got away quickly. I was grown. I was out. Child, I went to visit my aunt and saw my cousin who was younger than me doing what the hell she wanted to do. <laughs> come in when she wanted to come in. I'm lying. <laughs> excuses about spending the night with my I'm scheming. Scheming. <laughs> And I'm looking at my I'm cousin, and, I'm like, and my mother says this: she spent one summer, and you changed her. Nah, my look, the shackles fell off my <laughs> head, and I saw. Wait a minute, you why, how Kevin Hart says it? Wait a minute, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's all part of growing up, and that's life. That's life experience. You know, yep. uh, I, I mean, I love my mother to death, and I know in her, she was doing what she thought was, you know, keeping a tight hold. What was best? Yeah, so. But I appreciate y'all taking that put this plunge with me. Thank you. Thank yeah, I you. Who recommended it to you, John? Um, nobody. I was, um, Casey Mills shared it. Casey Mills shared it like a, uh, uh, you know, like how I how I promote a book, new um, release like that, and the title caught my attention, you know. Um, so I, I I actually thought it was, and this again no shade. I thought it was deeper than what it was. It I was. thought you know the title, yeah. I thought it was deeper than what it than what it was. But once I got into it and was like, okay, wait, 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 <laughs> what is happening here? Wait a minute. <laughs> Yeah, wait a minute, and and like we've been saying, the catalyst, like I, it just really irritated me again that <laughs> everything fell on Phoenix's shoulder. Mm -hmm. When to me, everybody, everybody played a part in it. Mm -hmm. Everybody played a part in it. So. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So I might have to go back and give her, um, give her catalog a look, and then see this Malika saying it is a like a series, and see what the other. <laughs> So the other one is called Dear Love, Here I Come, and the mm. author's name is B, uh, B. Chase. Okay. And oh, yeah, it. it was only all of her stuff pages, is set, Yeah, but they're all small. And then all of Tiana's catalog looks like they're set in Pittsburgh. So, oh, okay. yeah. So I've read three other books by her. Mm. So just know they're going to have that urban... Because if you would know anything about Pittsburgh, you know how hard that city really is. So just mm -hmm. know you're going to get that. You're going to get that hardness. So you're going to probably have somebody dealing drugs or doing something illegal is going to be involved just because it's Pittsburgh. Okay. Oh, so okay. Just be prepared for that. It don't bother me because it ain't my life. I'm, it's just <laughs> for me. <laughs> it's entertainment. Tima. <laughs> Tima, knock it off. <laughs> 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 oh god Kima. oh gosh all right Kima. All right. Kima has been the best right yes. Her those of you who rock with us to the whole hour and so i thank you i appreciate it Kima, for hanging there Kima. yeah all the comments i appreciate it and whoever i can't like i said i don't know who this other person was that was chatting with us but thank you so much um for sticking around and uh, i will be uploading this conversation up to youtube so if anybody knows tiana go ahead and let her know she can you know check it out <laughs> and i, I think appreciate that person's name was martha huh yeah her name was martha said, if you go that's martha. martha yeah oh okay okay yeah martha read it because she said it was wild she told me that book was wild all right martha thank you i appreciate it so much i really do and ladies thank you again i don't know what's what what i'm gonna well i'm gonna be tied up for the next two months um i can't say what i'm doing but i'm gonna be embarking on something and i'm gonna be tied up for the next two months so i might be in and out and um uh yeah yes <laughs> that's all i can say so um thank you i'm gonna end this right here have a great afternoon um 
everyone that's online. If you ladies hold on for one second, then I'll um all right. Oh. I'll, you, you, I know Kamisha got to get back to work. I know y'all got me wasting the government's money. I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs> 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 that's that's our money. That's not the government's money. That's our money. <laughs> 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 oh, they got it in the